Back inside the Grand Theater, Foxwoods Resort Casino as we move on to the next fight. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the heavyweight division. Steve Mako, 33 years of age, six feet tall, waiting at 246. There you see his reach, his opponent. Juliano Coutinho out of Brazil, 36 years of age, 6'1", 264, and an 80-inch reach, now fighting at a Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming the best fight fans in the world that are watching live on NBCSN. This fight is brought to you by ProSubs. Results, period. We're scheduled for three rounds of the World Series of Fighting Heavyweight Division. And now, introducing on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, six wins, only one defeat. He is on a six-fight win streak, three of those wins coming by way of knockout, two by submission. Standing six feet one inch tall, weighing 200 and 64 pounds, fighting out of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, by way of Boca Mendoza, Brazil, making his debut. And the Decagon, introducing Juliano Bonacino! And now, ladies and gentlemen, across the Decagon, fighting out of the red corner. His record, four wins, only one defeat, Three of those wins coming by way of submission. Standing six feet tall, weighing 246 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of North Bergen, New Jersey. This is his second appearance in the Decagon, presenting Steve Bear Moko. Your referee for this fight is Big Dan Mergliata. And the lovely Emily Miller gets us started here on round number one in the heavyweight division. Three very large men inside the cage tonight. Banana, the bear, and Big Dan Mergliotti in charge of it all. You ready, sir? You ready, sir? Let's go, fight. Henzo for big guys inside the cage. These guys move very well. It's amazing how fast they are. And Big Dan is not a malnourished man either. <laughs> I had an opportunity to roll with him a few times. He can move too. He can move like a lightweight. So three great fighters inside the cage right now. So Mako coming from American top team. Sizing up the Brazilian and Julian Coutinho. Beautiful right hand. You got to wonder. Of all the names he could have picked, Banana, really? It's, in Brazil, they always give you a nickname. Someone <laughs> gave the nickname to him. I bet he didn't pick. <laughs> Both men in the black trunks. It's Cuccino that's rocking the tight crop mohawk. They're still studying, studying each other a little yep. bit. but. All right, is this, a, is this a fight that Cuccino can get to the ground? Can he put the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to Mako, even though he's a great wrestler? It, it, it's extremely hard, especially in this beginning, to bring his opponent down for, for Banana. But uh, like we said, anything can happen in there. It's, it's small gloves, a shot connects. You know, you can see that uh, the Steve already has a bruise on his eye. A look, Ooh, beautiful big shot. Two beautiful. big shots to the head of Cuccino. And they land solid. And you see the difference when a heavyweight hits. Yeah. Uh, the, you see the leg shaking, you know. A lot of power behind the fist of Steve Mako, the bear, known primarily as a wrestler. He's showing everyone by going to American Top Team that he is serious about this MMA career and being a multifaceted mixed martial artist. He has all the tools necessary. Extreme good athlete, uh, wrestler. Genio with a big overhand right. It's always dangerous to fight like this. The first one who lands a shot. Yep. I would like to see them getting in a clinch and then work after that. You see again, they landed again. And it's impressive the Banana's uh, jaw because he, he got some yeah. good shots landing on his head. That's 264 weighing in on 246 pounds. That's a lot of mass and a lot of force. Mako coming back to the big overhand right and the Banana backs away. Two minutes and 19 seconds to go, and none of them went straight trying to, to really win the fight. They're like studying, putting the, the, the strikes there, 
Pink playing calmly. Steve having a slight advantage, landing better shots. The Brazilian crowd is screaming yep. <laughs> louder. Well, Coutinho does have the reach advantage of almost five inches over Mako, but it's Mako so far that's really established himself as the better striker. He's playing very well the distance. His leg work is being impressive. He doesn't let Banana get close to him to land the shots. Cool, and when guys, he strikes, cool. he doesn't allow the, the counter. Playing very, very smart. Look, as Banana moves in. One and done, and here's our first takedown attempt. Mako doing a great job. Cuccino tries to fight him off. Beautiful shot. And brought Banana down. Wow. This is. Oof. Yeah, Cuccino's in a little bit of trouble as Mako's able to get that free left hand and raining down some punches. And now he takes the back. Mergliato keeping a close eye on this one. Mako going to town. If he stays That's there, it. That it. is it. Yeah. Beautiful fight. Beautiful win. From Mako. Dan Mergliata does the right thing as Steve Mako was raining down some heavy punches to the side of the head of Giuliano Coutinho. Unable to defend himself, the punches were coming fast and heavy. So two fights, two quick stops. I'll tell you, you talk about a man the size of Steve Mako with all the force that he was bringing down on Cuccino. And Good balance position. Mergliata had well. to stop it. He had to stop. There's no air for, for, for Cuccino to go. Look how impressive the corner of um, Steve is. Yep. Look the amazing fighters there. And Mike Brown over there in the corner of Steve Mako, former WEC champion. American top team, they don't mess around down at Coconut Creek, Florida. And tonight it was Steve Mako getting the better of Giuliano Cuccino. We will step aside, we will regroup. When we come back, we will talk to the victor, get the official word. You're watching the World Series of Fighting 20 from Mashantucket, Connecticut, live on NBCSN. Inside the Grand Theater, Foxwoods Resort Casino, World Series of Fighting 20 from Mashantucket, Connecticut. Todd Harris, Henzo Gracie, and Joey Varner as we set it inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Morgliata has saw fit to stop this fight at one, four minutes and two seconds of round number one. Officially a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner, Steve Bear. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 